Welcome fellow crypto addicts to the sixth project analysis on the Polkadot Parachain slot auction and this time we are taking a look into parallel finance. But before we do that let me just quickly point out that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now without further ado we'll start and analyze parallel finance. So, Parallel Finance sister project is Heiko Finance and they have already secured a parachain in the Kusama parachain slot auctions. And what does this project do? Well, it classifies as a lending protocol, but they are doing a bit more than just that. Because um, right now their uh, main utility is that they are an easy gateway to the parachain slot auctions. So, you can contribute via their app on Parallel fi and the interface um, is uh, much more uh, easier to comprehend it's a uh, better structured and also better to navigate through if you contribute to the parachain slot auctions via parallel fi so basically it's the same as if you would uh, contribute uh, via uh, pocket.js wallet or whatever um, but it just makes it a lot easier. And you get additional para um, tokens as rewards if you contribute uh, via, their, via their app. And um, also if you use the um, referral link in the description below, you will get additional 5% on your para token rewards um, for when you contribute into the project. So all in all, mm, I think this is a it's a valid value proposal. And uh, another thing that they do, um, before I forget it, they have a liquid dot staking derivative. So that means if you contribute to the um, Polkadot um, parachain slot auctions via Parallel Finance, um, you will get, um, I think they're called C dots. You will get C dots, which is, um, which is dots you can already use. Their value is not exactly one dot. Because um, because of the interest uh, rate you can earn on DOT, so that's because that's why the value of C DOT will be a bit less than one DOT in the beginning. But after two years, your C DOTs will, will be worth uh, as much as one DOT, uh, the same amount, and then you can redeem them for DOTs. But if you let's say need the money beforehand, you can already redeem your C DOTs well at a little at a small loss um, before. But um, this uh, gives you more opportunity to be liquid, and you, well, your dots are not. I mean, your dots are locked for uh, the amount of the lease if uh, Parallel Finance or all the other projects win, and you contribute via Parallel Finance. Um, but um, in that meantime, you can uh, use their C dots as a liquid alternative to your dots. And yeah, well, that was their value proposal. Um, they received one Web3 Foundation grant, and they have. Um, 13 investors backing them. And if we're coming to the Phenomics now, the para token, there will be um, 10 billion tokens in supply maximum. And it is important to point out here that the para token really has a high inflation because all those 10,000 tokens in supply, they will, they will um, be in circulating supply within the first three years. So um, I calculated that for the first year you can expect about 15% of inflation and um, in the coming years, I mean till uh, 2023 I guess it was, um, all of them will be in supply so there will be heavy inflation in the first few years of the para token trading. So keep that in mind if you uh, want to invest uh, in parallel finance, this is an important point. Um, uh, looking uh, at the allocation, at the token allocation, they reserve 15% for the for the parachain auctions, but only 12.5% for the first um, auction. So they said, okay, um, we give out 12.5% as rewards for the first auctions, and the uh, remaining 2.5% um, we will use um, after two years. Um, after the lease uh, is up after two years and they have to um, go again into the parallel uh, into the um, parachain slot auctions um, so actually they are just giving out 2.5 percent um, the team uh, has reserved 20 percent um, of the of the maximum supply which if we compare it to the other projects here is 
quite a high number. Um, it's not very favorable to have such a high allocation to the team, but I think 20% is, is at the maximum um, you can do. It's still okay. It's not very positive, but it's still okay. If, and it's not too bad. If it would be more than 20%, I would say, hmm, well, I would think again uh, about contributing to this project. Um, the another 20% go to investors. Um, that's quite fine. And 25% are reserved for liquidity programs, which is basically a huge part of the inflation here. Um, but also that um, is good and um, suitable for a token like this, as they are well in the field of DeFi, and you need to incentivize. Uh, using your platform. And also they have 20% in reserve and development that they can use for whatever, development, marketing, all that kind of stuff. And 20% here is also a fine um, allocation they have. So all in all, their allocation schedule is all right. Mm, uh, I mean, yeah, it's kind of fine. The only thing that's uh, that I'm not quite happy about is the high allocation for the team, but the rest is okay. And unfortunately, their um, parachain uh, rewards are actually also quite low with only 12.5%. But yeah, um, so how many how many rewards can you expect? Um, at the minimum uh, level, you can expect around uh, 33 para tokens. And um, at the maximum, I think you can expect uh, around um, 99 para tokens. So hi, how do I uh, calculate this number? We again switch here and we see their hard cap in DOT is uh, 40 million DOTs. The f to reach that they need to raise about 2 billion US dollar. That would be 4% of the market cap of DOT and 11% of the supply available for the auction. Mm, I think that's quite high. That's why I don't think they will reach their hard cap is good for you because then the rewards um, per dot are higher. But um, looking at the sister project of um, Heiko, um, they raised around uh, 95 million. That was 50% of their hard cap. That would be about 5% of the dots um, uh, in supply available for the auction. And um, I um, added, uh, I gave um, parallel finance the factor of 10. That would may that would mean that they raise 950 million dollars, and that would amount to 19 million dots. That means that they reach about 48 percent of their hard cap. That would be 5.14 percent um, of dots uh, of yeah dots on the supply available for the auction. Um, I think it's possible for them to reach 50% of their hard cap, but even though they will, there's probably also a chance a chance that they will uh, raise slightly less. So maybe we can also work with a factor of nine here, which amount to 33% um, of their hard cap. And if we um, divide that um, by their distributed rewards, we have an expected reward of 73.10 tokens for the factor of nine here. Um, this would amount to 110 para tokens. And if we go back and change it to um, 10, the factor to 10, then we get 99 tokens. So I think you can expect around um, yeah, 100 para tokens as a reward. But um, they have special incentives for contributing early and they're quite high. So you can get an additional 50%, um, which is already included here, um, on your para tokens if you contribute before the 13th of um, November. So I guess you have two, what, two days uh, to do that. But if you do so, you get 40% just because you were early and another 10% as referral bonus. So if you want to use my referral link in the description below, um, you will get this addi additional 10% or yeah, well, you get five and I get five and in the end it amounts to 10%, um, but you will get um, then 50% additional rewards. And I think 
that is quite good. So this is a consideration if you want to invest uh, or if you want to back um, parallel finance and the slot auctions. I would all encourage you to do it before the 13th of November. Um, after that, those uh, you still get some additional rewards, but it will not be 40% anymore. Um, I think it will be 20% um, at some point, and it will go down to 10%. But you can check their their website, and you can also check um, parachains.info to um, get more info about their reward schedule. But contribute before the 13th, and you will get. 50% um, on top of your para rewards, which is included here. And um, yes, but they have no failure compensation. Okay, only one uh, project so far had failure compensation, so that's quite the norm. Will they secure it a slot? I think they probably will. I mean, that's a possibility. I think it's not the project where I say, okay, they will definitely secure it a slot in this batch of auctions, but I think it's um, likely that it will secure that slot. So let's come to the price analysis. Um, what's the expected market cap? So and that was kind of hard to assess and here I um, assessed it to be around 800 million. So it's quite a, a small market cap uh, in comparison to the other projects. And why do I think parallel finance will have a smaller market cap? Well, because um, their value proposal is good, um, but um, there's not um, that much utility um, beyond the Polkadot parachain slot auctions. I mean, yeah, the slot auctions are a big thing and they will go on for quite a while. Um, and actually, they will probably go on for like ever because you can only list your uh, slots for two years and then you have to go again into the parachain slot auction. But um, all in all, I think all the other projects, they have um, utility beyond the parachain slot auctions. And that means that they will have also more demand um, for their tokens. And um, that's why I assess parallel finance to be a bit smaller uh, market cap wise. They also have a smaller crowd behind them. We'll come to that when we look at the social sentiment. So I think that a market cap of around 800 million um, would suit them. Um, I might be wrong there, could be a bit bigger. I don't think it will be a lot smaller than that. Um, could probably be a bit bigger, but for example, I don't think that it will be bigger than Manta Network um, and I evaluated 1.2 billion market cap here. Um, but well, time only time will tell. Um, their sister project, so unfortunately Heiko is, uh, the Heiko token is not traded yet, so I cannot look at the market cap of cap of the sister project, but if the HICO token trades in the future, I mean the HKO token, um, then we can evaluate and maybe um, I will then um, change uh, the expected market cap, but for now I will put it at around 800 million. Um, as I said, the maximum supply will be 10 um, billion and in the first year around 20% uh, of that um, will be in circulation. But again, note in within three years, all of the 10 billion will be in circulation. So this again means that there will be a very high inflationary pressure on this token, which um, will have an effect on the price. Um, then again, if we look at the reward ratios to the circulating supply and to the total supply, we see that they are, well, they're all right. They're um, maybe a bit low. I, think, I mean, if we compare it to Moonriver, which is giving out only 10%, we see that they're um, a bit higher at times. Here's a bit lower, but on the maximum supply, they're a bit higher. Um, but I would say they're fine. There's nothing, uh, they're not too good or something. So um, nothing special here and yeah. But now let's come to the price expectation. So I would um, assume that the para token in the worst case scenario will trade at around 30 cents. Um, I expect it to trade around 40 cents and in, the, in a very, very beneficial scenario, they could trade around 70 cents. Even though I actually think due to the um, high inflationary pressure in the long ter ter term, um, 
this the token will not trade at 70 cents but we can say it um, trades at around 65 to 70 cents per token and um, yeah and that's just my assessment here um, um, what would that mean so well in the in the worst case scenario yes um, in the in the worst case scenario with the lowest market cap they will have a market cap of around 600 um, million US dollars that would rank them currently at spot 230 of all coins um, ranked by market cap um, I said before I don't expect it to be um, much lower than 800 million I mean 600 million is like the, the bare minimum I would say of the parallel finance market cap um, so um, I guess it will rather trade around the $40 uh, 40 cents uh, mark um, if we look at the market cap with the highest price expectation we'll see that it will have a market cap of around 1.3 um, billion US dollar which will rank them at uh, around spot number 88 and um, actually I think that is a bit um, too big for a parallel finance um, as, um, yeah but uh, I mean we will see it but so all in all I conclude um, I assess a price of around 40 cents per para token. What does that mean in the end? Oh no, well, uh, almost forget the social sentiment analysis. Uh, they have 42,000 Twitter followers, their GitHub activity is at 95 and they have 3.8 thousand or only 3.8 thousand uh, Telegram users. So all in all, I think their so social sentiment is a bit lower. Um, I, I assessed it the same sentiment as Aster, even though Aster is a bit better on the numbers here. Um, but why gave it a better sentiment? Well, because, uh, I, or why did I give it the same sentiment as Aster? Um, because their um, use case for the for the auctions um, is quite good. So if you contribute via their platform, it's quite easy and it's quite easy to understand. It's not as complicated as with the Polka.js web wallet. And that's why I added the sentiment a little bit. I yeah, I was quite um, generous with the sentiment here, so to say. And also, um, they're giving out all these extra rewards um, in para tokens if you contribute to any of the projects that I also mentioned before. You will also get the para rewards for every contribution, and you will also get an additional five percent of para rewards if you use uh, the referral link uh, in the description. Um, on your for your contributions or for the parallel rewards you get for your contributions so that's why I think the sentiment is um, uh, quite it's a bit yeah I think seven is fine for that and um, what does that mean overall I think you can expect at around around 40 to 45 um, dollars in um, um, rewards for one dot contributed um, the sentiment for the project is only one plus here because um, you will really have to see if they um, can add um, more utility in the long term that goes beyond just the parachain slot auctions and that goes beyond some basic DeFi stuff that already other projects are doing like um, a color or something but yeah you, you will really will have to see about that um, that's why the sentiment is only plus and um, also to note I'm not quite sure about that but I can imagine that um, as they're giving out all this um, extra tokens if you contribute to any um, of the to the any of those project for the uh, parachain slot auctions that a lot of those investors who receive their tokens as additional reward um, probably want to cash that reward in and that's possibly could um, lead to um, more um, setting pressure on the token so all in all the sentiment is just one plus they have um, have a val the value proposal is reasonable but in my opinion a bit weaker than on the other projects um, but still a valid value proposal and yeah so all in all I'm rating this uh, project double A I think the rewards are decent if you join before the 13th of um, November. Um, if you join after the 13th of November, those rewards will go down by 
approximately 20%. And in that case, I will not rate it AA anymore, then it will only be A rated. But for now, if you join now, use the referral link, um, you will get an uh, additional 50% on your rewards. And I think that is a, is a bargain. You can definitely do that if you want to invest in the parallel finance um, slot auction. Okay, um, that was it for today. Um, please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video so that you will not miss out on my next videos. Until then, I wish you good luck with the auction and see you next time.